Now, on another matter, the Senate's about to leave Washington for the August state work period. When we come back, Senate Democrats will face a daunting list of radical judges that the Biden-Harris administration will want them to confirm. There's Adele Manji and his record of bumping elbows with terrorist apologists and advocates for cop killers. There's Kevin Ritz and Carla Campbell, both the nepotistic beneficiaries of corrupt bargains between the Biden-Harris administration and the judges they would replace. There's Julia Lippis, another nepotism hire, who distinguished herself in her leniency towards a parent who killed their baby with fentanyl. There's Embry Kidd, who went, on to, went soft on sex abusers and then misled the Judiciary Committee about it. There's Ryan Park, the self-described tip of the spear of progressive activism, who fought hard to let colleges discriminate illegally against Asian applicants. There's Sparkle Suknanen, whose nomination Congresswoman Velasquez called an insult to the people of Puerto Rico. And then there's Mustafa Kasaba, who advocated incorporating, listen to this, Marxist theory into property law. So as our Democratic colleagues head out of town, I'd suggest that they consider whether the radical goals of the Biden-Harris judicial project are really worth it. <laughs> 